Hello and welcome to another video for the game Dawn of Titans. In this video I will show you the battlefield for a forest with a 4-6 defense. As you can see the defense has 4 undead and 6 militia units. This is interesting because when a wasteland land transfers to player owned the undead will transform into militia. That is the reason why I will actually capture this land now. This is the battlefield. There's militia units all around. Let me see where the undead are. Zoom in a bit. These are the undead. Two units here. Militia units here, they look a bit more organized. These are also four militia units. And the other two undead are to the east. Okay, let's zoom out again. I am going to win this battle by moving Yulgrief to the east and order him to attack both. First the one at the bottom and then the other one above it not really necessary because they will die much sooner by the hands of the elite and pikeman unit so it's another familiar looking setup just moving all my ranged fighters close to the enemy but not too close And now I have to give them a nice target. There, that's a nice place to be. Not too close to the skeletons and not too far away. I expect... Oh, here we go again. Redo. There you go, that's good enough. I expect these units, all these units will move except the four militia to the to the north. They will stay in place. And I expect to defeat these two skeleton units before the others will reach my ranged fighters. By then I will use the pikemen and send them to the west to intercept the skeletons. Fight. The northern militia stay in place. The ranged fighters already defeated one skeleton unit and I'm sending the pikemen to the west. Yulgrief is finishing off the other. I'm sending him a bit to the north and order him now to stand ground because I don't need him yet. The pikemen are going to attack the militia and the skeletons from the west. But again, the ranged fighters will just tear them apart. This works just as well with lower level units. There you go. The ranged fighters are going to attack Militia, Yulgrief, and the pikemen as well. I'm going to freeze the one on the left. And now I'll just finish them off.
victory. And again, if your level is lower, then you might consider to send in more spearmen instead of archers. Now let's see what has happened to the defense of this land when it transfers to my possession. I'm not going to keep this land because it doesn't have a strong defense but I'm going to look at it anyway and here you see the result it has now 10 militia units the undead have been replaced with militia and now I'll discard it for the staggering amount of 271 gold coins that's it I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.